Hi everybody, Grandma Bev here from Life with Grandma Bev and welcome to my channel. I do all kinds of hauls on everything, anything, and if you have anything to suggest, I'm welcome to that. Otherwise, you know, like Dollar Tree, TJ Maxx, Goodwill, thrift stores, um, FabFitFun, I get beauty boxes, I do travel videos, I do RVing videos when we you know, go to RV parks. Today, I'm going to do a QVC haul, and I, I know what this is, but I'm going to open it and then we'll, we'll act surprised. Now, I've got a trip, as everybody knows, coming up, and I'm trying to pick up things that I think will be useful for the trip. Now, I've been doing that since 2020 and before, actually, because I had trips coming up then. Well, we all know all those trips got canceled and post or postponed. And so this summer, we're doing two of them that had been postponed <laughs> to make up for it. So it's, but it's given me plenty of time to figure out what I think will work for me with trying to travel with this old body and lugging stuff all around. You know, what's going to work best for me? Like an airport, because you go through so much crap with TSA and everything, you know. You know, and you don't want to stand there and say, do you have your such and such? Can I see that? Where is it? You know. <laughs> I remember the last time we flew, which was right before Memorial Weekend. And what they put Bob through. I can't remember what it was for, but he finally had to go back out, back through the line. After they looked at this thing and saw it wasn't anything. It, oh, just irritated. But any, I know they're doing their job. I never give them a bad time, but so this is what came. It's a lug. What do they call it? A lug. What, what? This is a, the Skeeter. Skeeter. Skeeter two. Skeeter M two in navy. And I thought this is perfect for cruising. Now, any of you remember? Now I'm talking way back. There was a gal named Skeeter Davis who had a hit song. <laughs> And Bob always thought I was making the name up when I'd say Skeeter Davis for some reason, you know. And finally one day there was a song that came on and they said, this, excuse me, Skeeter Davis. And he goes, I thought you were making it up. Anyway, when I saw this, let's see this belt boots. I thought this would be the perfect thing for having around my neck in the airport, even if we go off the ship in little excursions, to put like... So I have it right handy here. <laughs> my passport, my ID, um, you know, my birth certificate. Just kidding. My marriage license. <laughs> Everything they want to see. But I thought it was just kind of cute. And I have it right here. Not to worry about putting it in. All you know, times I'll try to put it in pockets. And, and then I worry that they might come out of the pockets and land on the floor somewhere. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's check out all the little sections in it. Oh, this is cute. Look at the, the lining inside. Matches my top. <laughs> and there's one plastic little thing. And then, of course, this goes all the way down. So this is just the perfect spot for my cell phone, which right now, this is my brand new one. It's an iPhone 13. Let me tell you. <laughs> I don't get distracted. It came yesterday. Bob went through hell just ordering the thing because we, we get our um, phone service and stuff through Xfinity. So we had to do it online to order it. It took him two weeks just to, just to get the order in because they had to then work on our, pro, our, our, our account because they it, it wouldn't let them order online and all, all this stuff. So anyway, finally got it ordered and I'd wanted, it was, a, I guess, a blue one. So he looks at the order and there it was green. <laughs> but it is pretty. I'm keeping it. 
And they said, well, once you get it, if you don't like it, you can return it. It's like, oh, yeah, like we're going to go through what we'd go through. But anyway, it came yesterday. He started, Bob, of course, has to do all the, you know, moving stuff from my old phone and a new one for me. Four and a half hours later, I mean, he was on that phone. And this is nothing against foreign people, but you know how the companies, they, they make use of all these call centers in other countries, which means you're trying to communicate with somebody who you can hardly understand, and they probably can't understand us either. Each time, at some point, he would get cut off or disconnected after being on for an hour or so. So then you'd have to call back, have to go all through everything again with a new person, and they get to the point where he'd say, let me speak to your somebody who knows what they're talking about, what they're talking about. I mean, that's Bob. Let me speak to someone who knows what they're talking about. <laughs> and he says, you can tell that they're reading off script when, you know, first, you first get on and they're you're trying to explain everything, you know. Uh, so then they'd put him on hold. So he just would set it down on speaker. As a person would go try to, you know, make something happen because it wasn't, you know, going over right. And I I even forgot he had the person on hold. All of a sudden I hear Robert <laughs> and said, darn phone is coming back on. <laughs> so like I say, after four and a half hours of being on I think you think it had been three phone calls, <laughs> it's finally working. Anyway, back to this. This is where my I think my passport be perfect in here and my phone because you know the phone now you you put your boarding pass on the phone you gotta which has always made me feel insecure I like to have a paper in hand because what if I get up there and then my my phone has turned off or it's it somehow deleted itself it's like I'm up there oh uh, you know trying to quit <laughs> as I know the big line behind me okay then there is another zipper part in the front I think that's the front part or maybe that's the main part must be because here's this strap and in here it's just a, a nice open area to put things in i wonder if my my little phone my little um tripod i have would fit in there i hope so that'd be nice so anyway like i said this is the strap so it'll be a, you know be a cross body then on the other side, so it's got three, one, two, three zipper portions. Oh, there's the thank you card. So then we've got another area to fit things in. And of course, if you don't want to use it crossbody, they've got these belt straps, which they never wear a belt, but you know, if I did, it'd be handy. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's take this off. Let's see if I, can, I always have a hard time getting these things to go in. Oh, we get it. Okay. So there it is. You know, I can have it across. Across me like this. And you know, of course, I'll make the straps go more across body, but... You get the gist. So let's see if they put the price on here that I paid. I know it was a, a deal of the day, so. Oh yeah, $36.48. It's normally at least, you know, $10, $15 more. So I'm happy with it. Well, you know, I'm always happy with my lugs. And if I end up not being happy, I sell them <laughs> on eBay. <laughs> Yeah, it's not thank you. Thank you card. Two-year warranty. Yeah, well, <laughs> they never wear them out. <laughs> so what you think? You think that's going to work for me? I do. <laughs> and that's what counts. So please comment below, especially if you've gotten one of these or tried one of these and let me know how it worked. Share like, and subscribe. And I hope you're all having a wonderful summer. I love you all.